The Nepali government will shortly announce a cabinet expansion. After multiple rounds of meetings and discussions, ruling coalition has decided on the number of ministries. The coalition held the second round of meetings after all the parties demanded a high number of seats in the cabinet. Nine political parties will be part of the new council of ministers. Rashtriya Swatantra Party will not join the government but continue their support. The Nepali Congress will get eight ministries. Maoist Centre will get five. Unified Socialist and Janta Samajbadi Party will get two each while other five parties will get one minister each in the new government. Now, right now, Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahl holds 16 ministerial posts. This after three coalition partners deserted the cabinet. Last week, Dahl secured 172 votes in his favour from 10 parties in a vote of confidence. With the hung parliament and excessively overcrowded ministerial enthusiasts from the coalition partners, Nepal's Prime Minister is set to embrace the Herculean task of forming a 25-member cabinet. After all, the lifespan of Pushpa Kamal Dahal over Prime Minister's post is largely dependent on the fragile coalition. <laughs> For more on this, our correspondent Saloni Murarka has sent us this report from Kathmandu. Listen in. After more than 10 days of intense deliberation, Nepal Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal is finally expanding the cabinet. Prime Minister is leading a 10-party coalition government. Nepali Congress Party, who is part of the coalition government, is the largest party in the parliament. Therefore, is, uh, will be heading the majority of the ministries in the government, including the finance ministry, the foreign ministry and the defense ministry, followed by the Maoist Center Party with five ministries in hand. This decision comes after the CPN UML party, the second largest party, withdrew from Prachanda-led government last month. The Prime Minister was a, Pushpa Kamal Dahal was appointed as a Prime Minister uh, in December last year. However, within just three months, he secured the vote of confidence twice, winning the second floor test, an outcome that he says will provide stability to the country. Saloni Murarka for Vyond, Wireless One in Kathmandu, Nepal.